when should customers reach out to uh, content Can you talk a little bit about that please yeah of course so we advise uh, companies to engage really in the earliest opportunity and this is usually when businesses are thinking about their transformation program and their digital initiative and the reason being is that we support organizations in setting up um, you know a real strong foundation um, for the project and align align their internal teams along with identifying any key risks and, and also their mitigation plans um, and you know setting up a robust project roadmap to ultimately ensure uh, project success okay and, and why did you guys uh, decide to partner with that CMS specifically yeah sure so we're seeing a large proportion of our enterprise customers move into the headless architecture space and we'll, and they're demanding um, to move very quickly um, and also easily with their digital experience um, and to enable, you know, essentially a, a rapid scalability um, and reuse of their content. Um, so it made a, a lot of sense for us to, uh, for a content bloom to partner with .CMS and we've had some great successes in supporting our customers with headless solutions that fit their needs across Canada, US, Europe and APAC. We've got specific services dedicated in supporting all types of implementations on .CMS and providing ongoing support services as well. What web and CMS trends do you guys see uh, with your enterprise customers? Can you talk a little bit about that, please? Yeah, absolutely. Um, really, I see three trends, two key trends uh, with customers these days. Uh, the number one is UX. So uh, when it comes to CMS, there's really two types of users. Um, it's your website visitors. Uh, so your, your regular users that we always consider, they're the prime uh, customer. And the other user is of course the editors, the people that use the CMS uh, from, from, from the back end to edit and control the website. So uh, an easy to use CMS uh, that gives control to the marketeers uh, to do what they need and bring a good UX to the customers is, is definitely a trend. The, the second trend is personalization. This has been a topic for over 10 years now. Uh, and a lot of uh, our enterprise customers have been more or less talking about it, saying, yeah, yeah, this is a hot topic. We got to do something about it. Now is really the time that I feel that uh, the landscape has, has matured to a point where more and more enterprise customers are actually doing it. So, um, the, you know, everybody's got content. Um, there, there's tons of it. The question is, how do you make it relevant, searchable, and more personalized to the customer so that you can uh, understand your customer, talk to the customer, uh, and, and essentially give them what they want with, with a better uh, journey. So personalization is definitely a second trend there. And the final one, uh, top trend is the cloud. The ability to control all aspects of a scalable infrastructure across the globe at your fingertips is, is amazing. Um, the fact that we're in the future now, <laughs> uh, we can do this kind of stuff. And uh, .CMS really checks all the boxes uh, for these key three trends. So UX, personalization, and cloud. 